Hello, my estrogen deficient friends. Welcome back to Menopause Taylor, where I'm teaching you everything you need to know to make the rest of your life the best of your life, even if you are estrogen deficient. This is tutorial number 80. And recently, I've introduced you to the concept of menopause as an estrogen deficiency state. And I've taught you that you have to compensate for the absence of estrogen. And you've learned that without estrogen, various parts of your body begin to deteriorate. So that leads us to today's topic. You know, I always like to draw analogies when I teach because analogies not only help you to understand, but they also help you to remember what you've learned. So here's an analogy for what we're gonna discuss today. Do you remember way back in high school when you cared much more about having fun than you did about school? And your grades began to suffer. What did your parents say? They probably said something like this. The choices you make now will affect you for the rest of your life. If you don't make good grades now, you may ruin your opportunities later. You know, my parents never said that to me. <laughs> I was a nerd, a complete nerd. I always made straight A's, but they said that to my brother. And parents say that because they know about something called the window of opportunity. This is your window of opportunity. That's when you have a certain period of time to pave the way for a positive outcome. And if you don't make the right choices at that particular time, you lose your window of opportunity. It's like the window closes. And once the window closes, you can't go back and change your situation. You're stuck. You've sealed your fate. So a window of opportunity is a limited time offer to make a positive difference. Now you're probably thinking, why in the world are you talking to us about windows, menopause Barbie? <laughs> Although by now you know that you can't predict what in the world I'll talk about, right? but I always have my reasons. And the reason I'm talking about windows is because you have a window of opportunity when it comes to your menopause. I call it the estrogen window of opportunity. And I made this just for you. <laughs> I'm always making, pro making props for you guys, and this is one of them. It's a little bit droopy. Now here's how this works. Remember our discussion of menopause as an estrogen deficiency state? I explained that without estrogen, your body cannot function normally. But I told you that this inability to function normally comes about over time. At first, as with any deficiency state, your body compensates for the loss as best it can. But as the deficiency persists over time, your body eventually gets to a point when it just can't take it anymore and it starts to break down. So the estrogen window of opportunity is all about how long your body can handle the absence of estrogen before it breaks down and just can't take it anymore. So your window of opportunity in high school was four years, right? About four years. Those four years really dictated the opportunities that would be available to you for the rest of your life. How much time do you think you have when it comes to the estrogen window of opportunity? In other words, how long before the damage of life without estrogen is done? Go ahead, take a guess. It's the first five to 10 years of your postmenopause. 
That is your estrogen window of opportunity. So let's say you have your last period at age 50. That means your postmenopause begins at age 50. And that means that your body will do its best to compensate for the absence of estrogen for the next five to 10 years. But after that, it gives up. It's too late. It just can't take it anymore. And the damage that has occurred until that time is irreversible. Your estrogen window of opportunity has closed. You know, back when you were in high school, that window of opportunity pertained to what you'd be able to do for work as an adult. It was your high school window of opportunity, and it dictated, you know, whether you'd get into college, which college you'd attend, which majors you could pursue, which career path you'd choose, what kind of job you'd get, what your income potential would be. Well now, most of those things are behind you. What's ahead of you now is what happens to your body after your estrogen disappears. This is your estrogen window of opportunity. So what does your estrogen window of opportunity entail? Do you remember that long list of the signs and symptoms of menopause that I've shown you multiple times? In case you don't remember, here it is again. Hot flashes, night sweats, insomnia, fatigue, forgetfulness, mood swings, irritability, depression, cravings, breast pain, joint pain and stiffness, dry skin and wrinkles, hair loss, hair growth, vaginal dryness, UTIs, urinary incontinence, weight gain, decreased sex drive, acne, and headaches. Your estrogen window of opportunity means that some of those symptoms will never go away in the absence of estrogen. For them, after five to 10 years without estrogen, you sealed your fate. You'll have those symptoms forever and ever. Amen. Can you guess which ones adhere to the principle of the estrogen window of opportunity? That's what we'll discuss in the next tutorial. Okay, so that stuff is the annoying quality of life stuff. But what about all those diseases I've listed as the ones that are affected by how you manage your menopause? Do you remember those? They include heart attack, osteoporosis, breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. Can you guess? Which of those are affected by the estrogen window of opportunity? In other words, which of those diseases are irreversible after five to 10 years without estrogen? That's what we'll discuss in the tutorial after next. This estrogen window of opportunity is probably the most important aspect of menopause. But you know what? Most women know nothing about it. They've never even heard of it before. Instead of realizing how absolutely critical estrogen is to the quality of their lives, they're running around afraid of estrogen. In the tutorial before last, that was tutorial 78, I explained that it's all about compensating for the loss of estrogen. That means you don't have to necessarily use estrogen to keep your window of opportunity open, but you do have to understand how important it is to use something that accomplishes the same benefits as estrogen. And if you do absolutely nothing, your window of opportunity will close. You've sealed your fate. Now, 
instead of referring you to the pages in my book or outline notes for this material, I want you to know about an entire book on this topic. This is The Estrogen Window by Mesh Seibel. His name is pronounced Mesh Seibel, MD. This book explains the estrogen window of opportunity in great detail. It's not too complicated for you to understand. If you've been watching my videos in order, you'll be able to understand this book and you still have my videos to clarify everything for you. By the way, I'm sure you notice how tabbed my books are. <laughs> yep, I'm a tabber and a highlighter. In fact, when I read I have a whole collection of highlighters, <laughs> always, a whole collection. It's like my stuff is all color-coded and tabbed according to the colors <laughs> of my highlighters. <laughs> that helps me to help you. And when I'm reading a book on a machine at the gym, I have all these things with me and people say, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> I just show them all my pretty colors and tell them that I'm a certified nerd. <laughs> Oh well, you know, I can't deny it. So what you've learned here today is that you have a window of opportunity when it comes to compensating for the benefits of estrogen once yours disappears. It's the first five to ten years of your postmenopause. That's when taking estrogen or something that does the same thing as estrogen can prevent permanent symptoms of menopause or permanent life-threatening diseases. If you don't compensate for estrogen in those first five to 10 years of your postmenopause, it could be too late and your window could close. It's the same thing your parents told you in high school. Were they right? Did your behavior during high school set the stage for the rest of your life? Well, you know, here you are again, facing yet another window of opportunity. Are you going to keep it open? Or are you going to let it close forever? This is the kind of thing that makes coming to my seminar so worth your while. I give you the big picture on everything as well as all these details. Oh, how I wish every woman could attend my seminar. It would change the lives of women everywhere for good. I know it's a big undertaking, but the education is so important. So today I'm gonna to do another seminar giveaway. The lucky winner will attend my seminar free of charge. Oh, and you should know that when you attend a seminar, I give you a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, you get a notebook with updated outline notes. We work through the entire worksheet to tailor everything to you. You leave there with this whole thing filled out, tailored to you. You get my book. You get the slide chart. You get a DVD of the actual seminar, and you get a menopause DVD for men. So it's quite literally a toolkit that will serve you for the rest of your life. So to sign up for this seminar giveaway, click on the link in the descriptive section of this video. It's just right there below the video. <laughs> or go to my website, menopausetaylor.me. And this giveaway entry is going to remain open until 12 a.m. Central Time on December 26, 2017. It's a Christmas gift from me to the winner. And if you can attend a seminar, you can buy the DVD of the seminar from my website, okay? That's this, menop this menopause seminar DVD from the website. Whatever you do, please, please, please get this education. Don't let your window of opportunity for learning this critical stuff close on you. How you handle it is entirely up to you. Your opinion is the only one that matters. There are many, many, many ways to accomplish these goals, but you need to know that it exists. That's the key, okay? This is where I'm gonna pick up in the next tutorial. And in that tutorial, we're gonna talk about all the symptoms that belong to this estrogen window of opportunity. 
In the meantime, sign up for the seminar giveaway, and if you can't attend a seminar, get the DVD. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I love doing these things for you. I hope this education is serving your needs. Till next week, bye.